So the 3D model is finished in the read. There is the texture. Okay. So this is part two where I'm gonna show you how to animate um, this character, the shark character. But this is like a smooth animation. Um let me just show you guys. Okay. This is the 3D model I created in the first video. Um, so I said I told you I'm also gonna upload the second part of the video where I uh, animate this um, this 3D model in Blender. But um, I need some I need more armature bones, especially here by the tail, the tail section and the fin on the back. Okay, and also by the neck the neck armature so I'm just going to subdivide them okay alright let me just subdivide them first um, I like my characters to have smooth animation you can add a bunch of bones to your character it doesn't um, it, it doesn't matter how many bones you put in your character as long as your character can can move do some animations and then you're all good so I think that is enough bones to create that uh, um, animation I'm just gonna work on the tail in this video but before I do the animation I'm gonna take you over to copper cube the game engine I'm using to create this game okay and to um, use my character in copper cube has a nice workflow it's very simple okay so I think this um, character is already read and white painted this is copper cube okay there's the shark as you can see I already added some animations before just to see how the as you can see the sway at the tail I like that that is what I want but like I said there's not enough bones in this character here by the tail section I'm just gonna show you how it deforms you can actually count how many bones is in this uh, uh, character okay for one when moving and when turning there you can see okay it's deforming that is not nice I can count the bones in this character so I'm gonna work on the tail like I said put some more armature bones in I showed you guys how I subdivide them so I'm just gonna start all over with this character with the animation and like I said I'm just gonna work on the tail it's gonna be a nice game I already have all the props created in Blender and the uh, terrain so all I need to do is I need to animate this character give him all his basic animations ok so I'm heading back to Blender and let me just set up this character again ok now I'm gonna start with the animation and I'm not gonna bore you I'm gonna fast forward this part of the video guys can slow it down if you want to watch what I'm doing step by step okay the video came out 22 minutes and I don't want to let you guys watch a video of 22 minutes that's why I said you can slow it down on your own pace okay so let me just open the action editor top seat action editor alright let's first go to back to timeline and shrink the timeline a little I'm gonna put it on 40 okay we can increase it later just to get a smooth animation let's go back to top seat okay that's good choose the rig and go back to pose mode right and now I'm gonna start animating right guys this is going to be fast forward so I'll see you at the end of the animation
suppose you need to copy all that actions there okay that pose copy that pose it's going to need it now I'm just bending the tail okay where I want it to and I'm taking the same position but just in the minus on the minus position okay I'm just playing around with the bone step by step playing around with it using the mouse to play the animation preview before I play the animation okay you must take your time don't rush if you rush you won't get nice results at the end of the day so I took my time adding this animation to this character this is just the idle animation but I start off with the tail then I don't have to reset the whole bones the bone setup every time I'm just gonna save out the most basic animation on the idle and I'm gonna copy and paste that animation and just add more animations within that animation if I want the characters head to move and stuff like that as you can see there the tail is now swaying nicely that is the type of animation I want I want on my characters okay that is going to be the idol and if you want to make him move to the front you can just speed up the animation that is changing the animation showing off that the character is moving this is like a harvest is standing still so idle okay I'm gonna make a bunch of videos showing you guys how to animate this character from start to finish but this is just the tail section and as you can see there that is some nice animation going on there at the back the character is underwater so it's like a slow motion effect and you should complement that with your character okay so that it fits the theme of your game um, I'm gonna create another animation after this I hope I see you in the next one